Good morning, You Can Heal family. Today we're starting the book of Song of Songs. So I'm going to read a little bit about what we're going to be hearing, and then we'll start with chapter one today. My name is Coach Sheena. The book of Song of Songs, the Song of Songs is a love song written by Solomon and abounding in metaphors and oriental imagery. Historically, it depicts the wooing and wedding of a young woman by King Solomon and the joys and heartaches of wedded love. Allegorically, it pictures Israel as God's espoused bride and the church as the bride of Christ. As human life finds its highest fulfillment in the love of man and woman, so spiritual life finds its highest fulfillment in the love of God for his people and Christ for the church. The book is arranged like scenes in a drama with three main speakers, the bride, maid of Shulam, the king, Solomon, and a chorus, young woman of Jerusalem. The Hebrew title, Shur Asherim, comes from 1-1, one, one, the Song of Songs. This is in the superlative and speaks of Solomon's most exquisite song. The Greek title, Asma Asmatan, and the Latin, Canticum Canticorum, also means Song of Songs, or the best song. The name Canticle, Songs, is derived from the Latin title because Solomon is mentioned in 1 1. The book is also known as the Song of Solomon. So let's begin with chapter 1 Bride's Longing for Affection. This is Solomon's Song of Songs, more wonderful than any other. Young women, kiss me again and again, for your love is sweeter than wine. How fragrant your cologne and how pleasing your name. No wonder all the young women love you. Take me with you. Come, let's run. Bring me into your bedroom, O oh my king, young woman of Jerusalem. How happy we are for him. We praise his love even more than wine. The young woman says, how right that the young women love you. I am dark and beautiful, O oh woman of Jerusalem. Tanned as the dark tents of Keter, yes, even as the tents of Solomon. Don't look down on me, you fair city girls, just because my complexion is so dark. The sun has burned my skin. My brothers were angry with me and sent me out to tend the vineyards in the hot sun. Now see what it has done to me. Tell me, O oh my love, where are you leading your flock today? Will you rest your sheep at noon? For why should I wander like a prostitute among the flocks of your companions? Expressions of Mutual Love Young man, if you don't know, O most beautiful woman, follow the trail of my flock to the shepherd's tent. There, feed your young goats. What a lovely filly you are, my beloved one. How lovely are your cheeks with your earrings setting them afire. How stately is your neck, accented with a long string of jewels. We will make earrings of gold for you and beads of silver. The young woman says, the king is lying on his couch, enchanted by the fragrance of my perfume. My lover is like a sachet of myrrh lying between my breast. He is like a bouquet of flowers in the gardens of Engedi. The young man says, how beautiful you are, my beloved. How beautiful, your eyes are soft like doves. And the young woman rounds out the chapter saying, what a lovely, pleasant sight you are, my love, as we lie here on the grass, shaded by cedar trees and spreading ferns. And that concludes chapter one of Song of Solomon. We'll pick up tomorrow with chapter two. Always remember, true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. Bye for now.